Thank you for spending some time with me as we explore the rationale for investing in educational technology. Who doesn't finally remember these 1962 Kodak carousel ads? Okay, maybe not. Either way, this product was indeed somewhat revolutionary, able to hold 80 slides at a time and advance them automatically. Who could possibly need any more? Now I would like to fast forward 37 years. In 1999, my tenure as technology director in a highly traditional school for boys in grades 7 through 12 began. I was given a mandate from the administration to work on plans that would encourage and support the integration of technology within the school's program without interfering with the traditions and fabric of the school. One day, while I was chatting with the head of the Classics Department, I noticed quite a few Kodak carousels high up on the shelves in his office. It turns out that these boxes contain a couple of thousand images that he had taken and collected over the years. Apparently, he would, on a somewhat regular basis, consult his plans for the coming week, climb to retrieve the appropriate carousel or carousels, then he was ready to go. I should say at this point that this veteran teacher was quite skeptical regarding the promise of technology in his subject area. As we spoke, I asked if he would be interested in exploring an approach whereby he could have all of this content and more available for him to access in any order at any time. He was curious about this possibility, though understandably a bit skeptical as well. At any rate, I created a small prototype for him to work with. He was thrilled with what he was seeing, and we began to move forward with scanning and cataloging his entire slide collection. In fact, he became so engaged and invested in this project that he learned to scan the slides himself, and we worked side by side as we built the database over the next couple of years. He was convinced. He could see how this new tool and enhanced approach provided opportunities for more seamless integration of this dearly valued content within the classroom. Immediate access to the resources that he had relied on for decades led to more authentic interaction within the classroom. The slides became part of an ongoing conversation, not always just a part of the plan. Let me be clear right up front that we are not looking at technology-only approaches where teachers are pushed aside. I am advocating for a world where teachers work in concert with technology to enhance learning experiences and outcomes for our students. Not surprisingly, research has shown us that this is the sensible way to go. One way in which technology can enhance learning is by allowing teachers to differentiate instruction beyond that which is practical via analog-only methods. Tools like RAS Kids provide teachers and students with access to broad selection of leveled ebooks to enhance the K-5 curriculum. Students can listen to the ebooks as they develop fluency, read the books as they practice, and ultimately record themselves anywhere, anytime. This aspect of the program allows teachers to maintain running records that are more comprehensive than they typically might have time for within a typical school day. It also allows students to practice in a way that is not only engaging, but is customized to her or his own profile and needs, and providing students and teachers with another mode of addressing literacy. More data on where our students are and another way of looking at the page. This is truly a powerful tool. Technology integration is not about reinventing the wheel. Given the time, energy, expertise, and precious resources that our communities have invested in education to date, it seems sensible to look carefully at what we already do, what strategies work, 
than what we know about our students' needs, potential, and personalities. We have a wonderful knowledge base to tap into and can no doubt find smart, creative ways to build upon this foundation by leveraging technology as we seek to enhance education for all. So, what might a traditional time-honored math lesson look like once enhancements stemming from technology integration have been realized? In the lesson entitled Living Within Our Means, a sixth grade geometry lesson receives an update to bring it into the 21st century. Historically, students have been asked in this activity to design a 1,500 square foot home within some very specific parameters, including the number of bedrooms, bathrooms, and so forth. Paper and pencil, along with rulers and a few other analog items, were used to produce the final product. In the reboot, students will work collaboratively in groups of three, employing a variety of technology tools in their quest. Spreadsheets will help them to quickly and accurately assess options and make decisions regarding limited resources. CAD software will be used to create digital models of the structures students envision, allowing multiple options to be simultaneously pursued. File sharing among group members, as well as with the teacher, will facilitate communication and collaboration on the project itself and make assessment more timely, thorough, and meaningful. This real-world experience is a plus for all. Web 2.0 tools are those that emphasize collaboration, communication, and dynamic creation and sharing of content were non-existent just a couple of decades ago, but are a vital part of the educational technology landscape in the 21st century. Let us take a quick look at a couple of these nimble tools. A wiki is a collaborative tool that allows students to contribute and modify one or more pages of course-related materials. Wikis are nimble by nature, so lend themselves to numerous collaborative tasks, including group research projects, where the wiki provides a shared home for students to contribute as they engage and document their efforts. Another application for wikis is to make students responsible for maintaining, managing, and contributing to an evolving list of domain or course-specific vocabulary and concepts. Everyone in the class has an opportunity to contribute and help mold the ultimate document. In its simplest form, a wiki provides a powerful, easy-to-use approach to collaborative editing of any web content. Poplet is a mind mapping tool, much like the popular Inspiration software that has been around for decades, but with a bit of a twist. Poplet is designed for the web sharing, and collaboration. Its easy-to-access interface and intuitive organizational approach make it ideal for the nonlinear world of our K-12 classrooms. Inquiry-based learning is an instructional model that centers learning on solving a particular problem or answering a central question. One example of an approach that is both research as well as standards-based is Geniverse. Geniverse is web-based software for use in middle and high school that engages students in exploring heredity and genetics by breeding and studying virtual dragons. The genome being studied throughout Geniverse is derived from real-world animals including mouse, lizard, and stickleback fish. It is game-like software that teachers use to engage students in simulated experimentation, critical thinking, and writing about genetics. Research has shown that scientific argumentation is an important element in learning if students are to make sense of how or why a phenomenon occurred. are able to unlock genetics in a new way for students. And we do it in a fun way. Um, we do it by letting them breed dragons, but there's real science underneath.
I really like Geniverse because it's not just like a textbook, it's not dry. What I love about Geniverse is how the students get so interactive um, with each other and the program. If you look at the stats, that really makes you think like, why does this happen, why does this work, instead of reading a book and being like, okay, this is what happens first and second, like, really understand more and I think I get like a clearer picture in my head like of what happens. Geniverse is compatible with any textbook that you might be using, but it actually allows the students to do the experiments for themselves. I have covered more genetics using the Geniverse program than I ever have in the amount of time in the curriculum. I feel that the students are not only covering it, but they're learning it. They're understanding it more than, than they would with just the book and learning chapter by chapter. The ways in which technology can enhance student learning and understanding is seemingly without limits. And I hope that this presentation has been helpful in framing the conversation for us all. The range of resources that are currently available to educators is astounding and is sure to continue to grow over time. From seemingly rudimentary technology tools to sophisticated simulations along the lines of Geniverse, they are all worthy of evaluation and consideration as our curricula evolves in the future. I now look forward to continuing the journey along with the conversation. Thank you and enjoy your day.